Thank you, Yes, for the best season and Jane 9 for our Nick nomination. On behalf of Blink Pictures, we accept 24 hours to do some good. Okay, so we're heading to the south of Johannesburg. A friend of mine is very involved in community work and she suggested that we, we look at possibly supporting a community in the Moffat View area. We're going to head there to see what, what we can do to help. Moffat View South Hills is a very um, economically depressed area and these people do suffer. You see, yeah, in this community, there's a lot of poverty in this, in this uh, community. There's a lot of people that's struggling, a lot of people that's not working. We have a lot of teenage-headed households. How do they, they survive? Uh, the kindness of neighbours, mostly. We started off with 40 kids because a lot of the kids were going to school without being fed. We're up to 250 right now. Hello. That's good. That's good. And then um, this is the stove that I also use. But only one big pot can come on the stove because we can't put too many pots. Now we don't have gas. We run out of gas. So we have to cook on our own stoves right now. Like um, some of the potatoes that came in in December because of a storage, you see, some of them we had to throw them away. So our veggies get rotten also, most of the time, because when they come, then we have to sort them out and then they get rotten because of space also. And the deep freeze is too small also that we've got. And then we don't have enough food stuff also, because right now we're cooking soya. We're making soya all kinds. Soya, soya, soya and soya and more soya. <laughs> okay, so we don't need soya, we're good on soya. <laughs> Nice area clear. to just relax, you know. But it's just clear. This yeah, nice grass cut. Yeah, nice shade. We've been asking for how long for the council to come and clean up here. We have got no resources, or we have very few resources in the area. For instance, our youth are mowing lawns with lawn mowers that they picked up that have got three wheels, rakes that are broken. We climbing Kilimanjaro with we hoping 25 people. We actually are short of climbers. Each climber then will raise funds towards the Moffa View project. The money that we raise will go towards uh, purchasing um, some of the containers, getting them fitted out um, and making a secure area, a grassed area where the children can safely play, do a bit of homework and, and enjoy their meal unhindered. I really thought we'd come and you know, offer some support to a feeding scheme and now that we're here it just feels like, like we really have to try and do a whole lot more. So we have 250 kids and I'm thinking we can buy 250 apples. Food's going rotten because they don't have storage. Basically though, they're going to need to come to the party by tomorrow. They don't have a little look just now. They don't have freezers, they don't, they've got gas stoves that have no gas. Okay, we've got two weed eaters. From Spa on Canterbury, eight spa vouchers for the ladies who are working so hard. All night to make them. <laughs> Flip and heat them. <laughs> this is baby cereal, which is great because you don't need milk or anything, you just add water and fabulous. Okay. So, the reason for the Springbok rugby jersey is threefold really. First of all, this is a South African Nick nomination. Secondly, we were nominated in part by Joost van Westhuizen, who's a former Springbok captain, and we're his documentary team. So, there you have it. We have here a whole year's supply of soya. Soya! 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 It doesn't take milk, so you just add water. We appreciate all those that you've done. Pleasure. Okay, so while we cook, you got it.
One, two, three, go. Right. Okay, so this essentially is the kitchen. It's outside. Tiny table. And when it rains, I mean, it just will work. How are you loving this, Helen? <laughs> For a vegan hunt, you well. <laughs> Janet and Janine wanted for a kitchen and Jermaine wanted for aftercare. So feeding is the most important so at the moment we're just going to keep it as a kitchen. <laughs> we're just so excited about the bread, the freezer and the container and what they're going to do and I, I know it's going to make a huge impact. People don't understand the small things that you do and especially in an area like this. First hand, that's why I think it's important that people come and see what we do and you meet the kids. This morning, I had to go out of my own pocket to buy gas. Just to see how we've been helped and how we've been able to help the community today, it's very emotional because it means a lot to these people and it means a lot to us and it helps us in what we're trying to do with them. I guess what today has shown me is that it doesn't actually take that much to, to make a mess of difference. Those guys out there, they've cleared that space because they're inspired. Very good. Hard to smile. Okay. Hard to smile. You've just inspired the youth that we're working with. So, from the bottom of all of our hearts, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 And the idea is to put in a bit of a container city here for them, a container village. Some ladies are going to go and climb Kilimanjaro and the question to you is, will you climb a mountain for this community? Yes! Brilliant! Okay, we'll be in touch. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Never mind that, my life. Nomination time. So we'd like to nominate other small companies like ours to get out into the community and just do something, do anything. It doesn't take that much and, and a little bit really goes a long way. Um, I'd also like to nominate my colleagues at Carte Blanche, Devi Bungani, Derek. And then this nomination came from somebody who is fighting for MND, um, for motor neuron disease. So I'd like to nominate another soldier in that battle. That would be Steve Gleason in the United States. We have 24 hours to do good. Chicken fingers. <laughs>